Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In January of 2021, Elon Musk announced SpaceX's plan to increase the number of flights they can mount by drastically reducing turnaround time. The key to this was a new launch tower that would catch first stage boosters after they returned to Earth. This would forego the need to install landing legs on future super heavy boosters and potentially future starships returning to Earth. Musk shared this idea in response to a tweet made by an animator who goes by the Twitter handle ErkX, who asked if his latest render of a starship landing next to the launch tower was accurate. As usual, Musk responded via Twitter, saying, We are going to catch the super heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using grid fins to take the load saves mass and cost of legs and enables immediate repositioning of booster onto launch mount, ready to refly in under an hour. And now, finally, SpaceX's Mechazilla is alive. Engineers working at Starbase on the 400-foot-tall Starship Orbital Launch Tower moved the robotic arms for the first time on Thursday morning. Called Mechazilla by SpaceX founder, chief engineer Elon Musk, the giant claw-like steel structure is designed to catch the Starship spacecraft and super heavy rocket as it conducts a propulsive descent. The arms attached to the tower will enable the company to develop a reusable launch system capable of flying multiple times per day. SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robotic chopsticks. Musk said last month, Success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. NASA Spaceflight operates a set of live cameras that captured footage of the Mechazilla arms moving for the first time. The moment Musk announced this new tower, people in the space community have been speculating what it might look like. The first to oblige him was a 3D designer who created an animation based on Musk's description the very next day. The latest comes again from Irk X, who used the completed tower as the starting point for his latest animation. The animation is captioned Mechazilla, less than one hour turnaround and shows a fully operational tower catching a spent super heavy booster which just returned from deploying a starship to orbit and transferring it to the launch stand. The actuator arms then turn to grab onto another starship and stack it on top of the super heavy. We also see a secondary arm move into place once the starship and super heavy are stacked, likely a support arm. Musk let Irk X know how close he was to capture the tower. Pretty close. Booster and arms will move faster. QD arm will steady booster for a shipmate, he tweeted. Followed by, and the ship will be caught by Mechazilla too. As with the booster, no landing legs. Those are only needed for Moon and Mars until there is local infrastructure. So Musk is promising a turnaround time of less than one hour now and has confirmed that future starships will be retrievable by using this apparatus and others like it. This latter scenario is likely to occur if and when starships begin taking passengers on point-to-point -point flights between major cities, a service that Musk has promised will be available once the starship is cleared for commercial flights. If all goes well, starship will be ready for its first orbital launch attempt next month, pending regulatory approval, Musk announced on October 22nd. The aerospace company needs approval from the US Federal Aviation Administration, which monitors and controls air traffic. The FAA is currently conducting an environmental assessment of SpaceX's Starbase facility to ensure safe spaceflight operations in the Boca Chica Village region. SpaceX will obtain a flight license when the FAA ensures safe operations can take place from the sandy beach. If the administration approves, we could see the first fully stacked Starship Super Heavy launch to orbit from South Texas and land off the coast of Kauai, Hawaii, sometime before this year ends. However, SpaceX does not plan to test Mechazilla's catching capabilities during the first orbital flight. Musk previously said they would attempt it until Booster 5, the next prototype that will undergo testing. Engineers have already started the Orbital Starship's vehicle pre-flight test campaign. Last week, they performed a series of proof tests and static fire tests of the spacecraft's RVAC, vacuum-optimized Raptor engines, designed for propulsion in space. They are rapidly working to conduct more pre-flight testing to ensure the stainless steel vehicle is ready to fly out of Earth for the first time.
Starship SN20 will attempt to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and SpaceX will assess how the star brick's heat shield withstands the extreme temperatures as it descends at high speeds towards the Hawaiian coast. Beginning on August 29th, after less than three months of assembly, SpaceX installed Starship's QD arm on the launch tower. About a month later, the QD arm was mostly finished off with the installation of a claw-like grabber meant to stabilize Super Heavy and is now only missing its namesake quick disconnect, an actuating device that will connect Starship to the pad and rapidly disconnect at liftoff. Assembly of the last three major components of Mechazilla, a carriage-like structure and two giant arms, began in July, much like the tower's QD arm, wrapped up about three months later. On October 6th, SpaceX began combining those three major parts by flipping the carriage, a bit like a spine and rib cage with skates that attached to rails on the launch tower's legs, vertically and staging it on a temporary support structure. Both chopsticks were then flipped into the correct orientation and moved into position with separate cranes for installation on the carriage slash backbone. From start to finish, that process took around 9 to 10 days and culminated with the installation of two giant cylindrical pins with built-in bearings on October the 14th and 15th. By the 17th, both cranes had detached from the assembled Mechazilla arms and carriage, leaving it precisely balanced against the support structure and more or less freestanding. Just a few days later, after a second attempt on October 19th was called off as night fell, SpaceX tried again on the 20th and completed the first step of installing Mechazilla's catch arms on the launch tower, without apparent issue. Likely weighing several hundred tons, Starbase's largest crane lifted the massive structure up and over an adjacent launch mount and then carefully inched it closer to the tower. Prior to lift, SpaceX technicians staged 12 skates on three of the tower's four legs, two upper and two lower skates per leg. Once the carriage was in the right position, workers were able to wrap its upper arms around the tower and began connecting the carriage to those skates with several more large pins. It's unclear how much progress was made in the hours after the lift, but it appears that the carriage has been attached to maybe four or five of six upper skates. Work continued well after nightfall, meaning that it will likely only take a few days to complete all 12 connections. However, even after all skates are installed, the carriage, arms and skates will still be hanging by crane or winch. To truly install the structure on the tower, SpaceX will have to finish installing and rigging thousands of feet of steel cable that will connect to power drawbacks that will support the carriage and catch arms and lift the assembly up and down the tower like an elevator car. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.